Alright, welcome back folks. Today we will be unboxing the new Battletech beginner box. Uh, different from this one. If you go to find one in the store at the moment, it will probably still be this one. And at the end we will compare the differences here. But this is the one that should be out, I believe, in the next month or so is the tentative time frame they gave. Uh, so as you can see, it's very easy to tell the difference on the front. And... Well, the, the back has also changed a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, uh, th this has also changed a little bit. The old one was $19.99. This is $24.99. So, you know, a little bit of increased costs, probably due to inflation. Maybe. Don't know. Not an economist or catalyst bean counter. So, anyway, uh, you know, just like all the other boxes, nothing particularly fancy on the edges. Just the new artwork here on the front depicting the new mech that is in here, which again I believe is the Vindicator. So let's open it up and find out. Get our plastic wrap off of here. So, we have a short story, just like in the other, and looking at the other one, this does appear to be the same short story, just with a different cover, uh, but it is the same title and the same author, and I'm going to assume this isn't the one other case I know of, of the same author writing two books with the same title. Funny story behind that, not going to go into it here though. Uh, we have our cards here, like we had in the other. Now I'm going to check these because I assume there will be a different one in here because there are different mechs. So, let's see, Lucas, Griffin, yeah. So on this one we have for, yes, it is a Vindicator as opposed to the Wolverine and the other one. And just like the other ones, one side of one is uh, similar to its TRO, uh, Technical Readout Entry, whereas the other side of this one should be artwork based on, yeah, which I believe that's the box cover. And then the same to the Thunderbolts on the previous box set. And then we have our cards again. And again, these appear to be the pilot cards, which I'm sorry to say, I still don't know entirely what these are actually supposed to be used for. We were just somewhere with that. Uh, yes, this is true. Uh, so yeah, these are pilot cards for the four mechs that there are in here. And there's alternates on the back. Uh, I mean, there are abilities listed, and there are costs for them, so I assume these are for classic Battletech and not Alpha Strike, but I could be wrong on that. I, I really should investigate that. If we do a, a Let's Play, I definitely will. Uh, our two six-sided dice. And then, the reason that most of you are probably here, the mechs. Now, the Griffin that we had before is still here. And then now we also have the Vindicator. So now if you're to buy this and the Game of Armored Combat sets, uh, you'll have 10 unique mechs instead of a duplicate of the Wolverine. And thus far, neither of these are available in any other box sets. That may change in the future. That's up to Catalyst. They have been doing uh, a little bit of, in some of their upcoming sets, they have been putting mechs that have already been previously available, but they have different weapon configurations, or some of them have the jump jets going, things like that. So we have our quick start rules, which I'm assuming are identical except for the front page. Uh, just kind of glancing through here, it looks to be the same to me. Uh, the same sheet on the back. 
including the, now that we know from a little bit of experience, ever so handy GATOR acronym, which is makes it really handy to try to remember the sequence everything goes in. Uh, we still have our same, here's the inner sphere in a nutshell with our really small map, circa 3025. And then just a brief, these are battle mechs, these are mech warriors. Now, we do get another sheet from Ironwind Metals here. And this appears to be a new one because there is a coupon code on here that is good until 2025. So, yeah. Uh, let's see what it's good for. Oh, it's 20% off a minimum order of $100. So, yeah. And this shows some of the other things that you probably won't see in the box sets anytime soon. Uh, the Super Heavy, the Ares. This is a Republic of the Sphere mech. So this is from much farther in the timeline. Uh, the Shadowhawk. This is in the Game of Armored Combat set. And the Ryokan 3 is a clan mech, unless I'm mistaken. And given that it's the 3, that's probably from the Dark Age setting, if I had to guess. So yeah. Uh, unlike the other coupon code, which was a certain set for a certain price, this is a straight 20% off discount for $100 or more order. What? Oh, yeah. As, as my cameraman has... Noted here, given the price of the Aries, if you just order two of them, you will be at your $100 minimum order. Uh, now, there are different versions. This is the Hephaestus. There's several different configurations. But since Battletech is not a what-you-see-is-what-you-get kind of game, you could probably just buy one and say it's any of them. I mean, I personally don't plan on buying multiples of a $50 mech. So then you have the cardboard cutouts, like the other. Only now, the Wolverine has been replaced by the Vindicator. Uh, the rest, I'm assuming, is the same. Just kind of glancing at it. And then we have our map. Which looks similar to me, but we'll know here in a moment when we actually compare them side by side. To see if they are in fact the same maps. I'm assuming that they are, but we'll know here in a moment. So that is the contents of the new beginner box. So let me dig out a little bit of the contents of the old beginner box. Like old, so I've been out a couple of years. As I mentioned, it is apparently the same story. Just a different cut, just different cover art. So we have that. Uh, we know that the cards we saw in the other, and we know that the main difference is that there should be a Wolverine in here. Yeah. Whereas that is the, replaced by the Vindicator in the newer one. Dice are presumably still the same cards just with the vindicator not it sorry excuse me folks cards just but with a wolverine instead of a vindicator a griffin and a wolverine instead of a griffin and a vindicator quick start rules but with the older box cover Same 3025 map. In fact, this should be exactly the same. The older Ironwind Metals sheet uh, with coupon code that expired at December 31st of last year. And that was for these various bundles that are listed here. Now, here we have the cardboard cutout which you can see the Wolverine replaced the Vindicator. And I do believe, looking at them side by side, the terrain is identical. And then that just leaves the maps. 
which you should be able to tell just by looking at this quadrant. Yeah. As you can see, the maps are identical maps. So, uh, with the exception of the copyright has, a, has an updated year. And yeah, this is, yeah, it's the map. The map does have a name down there. It's Grassland Number One, Grassland Number One. So, they are the same map. So, there you have it. Uh, if you don't have a starter set and you want a Wolverine as opposed to a Vindicator for some reason, uh, I suggest you try to track one of these down right now because once the new one hits in numbers, these will be gone off the market because it is, this is a replacement. This is not a, uh, not just another option. So bear that in mind. Uh, if you somehow miss out but still are just dying to find a Wolverine, I have to imagine that this is probably the most common single mech on any secondary site due to it being in both the boxes uh, and the fact that it's a pretty middle-of-the-road machine. So you shouldn't have too much trouble getting a hold of it, or you could just buy the Game of Armored Combat box set, which also comes with seven other excellent mechs. Uh, but yeah, so... That's the new set, and uh, stay tuned because we'll also be opening the new Alpha Strike box set, which I expect to be just a little bit more exciting. Uh, not really much to compare it to. It's a whole new ball game. So keep an eye out for that video, too. Uh, check out the other videos on the channel. We've got a few other Battletech-related videos, and we intend on continuing because we like the Battletech. And uh, going to hopefully do some some kind of some looks into the lore, and maybe show off some of our painted machines, maybe to show that we have a long way to go in our skill set. You know, maybe some of you folks get a good chuckle out of it. Who knows? Maybe it'll inspire you guys to take off and paint some stuff. Because if you're like us, you've got mountains of unpainted miniatures somewhere. Uh, but anyway. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the presentation and look forward to any kind of comments you might have. We always try to answer any questions that pop up, so keep that in mind. And constructive criticism is always welcome. I can't really stop you from destructive criticism. It's the internet. It's free. It is what it is. But anyway, uh, thanks again for watching, and see you later.